Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I created this mobile addiction animation project from beginning to the end. And at the end of this video, I will also give the YouTube links of all the related tutorials from where you can learn the techniques that I have used in this project. At the very beginning of any project, I do some research on the topic and then pick up paper and do some rough sketch to put all the ideas on the paper. So after some research, I jumped onto Adobe Illustrator and started adding the basic shapes to get the overall structure first. I also picked some color palettes from Adobe Color and Pinterest and tried out different color combinations. Now once I'm finalized with the color theme for the animation, I started illustrating the next frame. I also created some more elements illustration for the scene and here I am with my illustrations that I would need for this animation project. So the video starts with a girl in front view doing some work, then gets a notification from Instagram, immediately picks up the phone to check the notification but ends up spending hours scrolling through the social media. So this is the overall theme of this project. Now before jumping on to After Effects, I separated the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. In After Effects, I started with the first scene where the girl gets a notification and reaches out to pick up the phone. For this scene, I started with face rigging. For the face rigging, here I used Dwig Bezier plugin. In Dwig connectors, I picked a 2D slider for this one so that I have the option open to animate the character both in X and Y axis. Now after that, I moved all the facial elements and the other elements linked with the head in both X and Y axis to create key poses for Dwig connectors. I created three set of keyframes and linked the property of the sliders with both X and Y axis. And the character's head is fully rigged to animate. So to animate the face, now I only moved the slider controller in the direction I wanted it to move. Then I moved on with hand rigging. So to rig the hands, I again used Twig Bezel plugin. So I picked an arm structure to rig the arm and then animated them accordingly with the Twig controllers. So for the fingers, I rotated the shape individually from pose to pose according to my requirement. So here the scene starts with a message pop-up. Then the character looks at the phone and then raises her hands to anticipate picking up the phone. And then I added a match cut to the hand close-up view where she continues picking up the phone. Then the other hand comes into the scene for the phone support. So here I basically added some anticipation for the action on the previous scene and continue the action in the next scene to make the transition continuous. In the hand close-up shot, I changed the perspective of the hand when she is picking up the phone and bringing it closer to the camera. I scaled up the hand layer when she is bringing her hand closer to the camera and adjusted the shape path of the forearm layer accordingly. So to animate the hand and bring it into the scene, I animated the rotation property of the layer. For transition from frame 2 to frame 3, I again added a match cut. To maintain the continuity in the match cut, I added a phone tap in the previous scene and then continue the action in the next scene. And then turn on the light of the phone screen. So to light up the screen, I made a trapezium shape and then added a mask. And increase the feathering value according to requirement. Then to bring the light, I animated the mask path and then changed the motion path in such a way that it started at a very high speed and ended with an ease. In this scene, I reused the face rig of the character from the first frame and then again rigged the arm with Twig and animated with Twig controllers. To add some extra details, I added a rotation animation on the thumb. For the social media and the chat UI scrolling, I initially thought to distort the graphics in trapezium shape, but that was giving a 3D look for the UI scrolling, but I wanted a complete 2D UI look. So in Illustrator itself, I illustrated the UI in trapezium shape and scaled up and down the inner elements based on that to keep the essence of the 2D look. Then I bought the UI in After Effects and animated scale and position when the UI is moving up. For the inner elements, I again animated the scale position when the UI is moving up and here is how it looks. To transition from frame 3 to frame 4, I again added a match cut 
During the cut, I kept the UI scroll continuous to maintain the continuity in the scene. Then for frame 4, I used twig connectors again to rig the head and rig the arm with arm structures. During the social media scroll, I added some social media icon pop-up. For the icons pop-up, I animated the icons position, scale and opacity property. Then I duplicated the icons multiple times and varied the motion path. After that, repeated the process for different icons. Now after the overall animation of the scenes are completed, I started adding grains throughout the scene. To add grain texture on an element, you need to add a shape layer for grain texture shades and then add an effect called roughen edges on the shape layer. Then decrease the scale under roughen edges somewhere around 10 to 15 and also change the edge type to spiky. After that, increase the border value and the edge sharpness value and here is our grain texture. So after that, to animate the grain texture, add a time expression under evolution options on random speed. So to add grain texture on other elements, I repeated the process over again to add grain texture throughout the scenes. And then I added an adjustment layer and added an effect called add grain on the adjustment layer to add grain texture filter throughout the animation. So these are the steps I followed throughout the project and here is how it looks. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your project. So if you want to learn how to rig face of a character with quick connectors, you can check out my other videos on character rigging where I explained it in full details. So I will provide the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorials. If you want to learn how to rig hands for UI animation, you can check out my other videos on UI animation where I explained it in full details. So you can again click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorials and also I have tutorials on how to apply crane texture in your animation. So you can check out the tutorials from i button on the top right corner and I will also be providing the links in the description. You can check it out from there as well. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.